Hey YouTube fam, I hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time visiting, a special welcome to you. My name is Winthrop Wellington, and here on my channel, we explore Jamaica together, and I share my running journey around the world with you whenever we're able to travel again. In today's video, I had the opportunity to explore the middle of Jamaica, a part of the island that is seldom explored. We were in the parish of Trelawney in a part of the island known as Cockpit Country. We did the Kwashi River Cave Tour with a group of folks, and this one was definitely an adventure that, as you see, we weren't exactly prepared for. I don't want to give too much away, but we were expecting a leisurely hike, and it turned out to be something a bit more. But as unexpectedly challenging as it turned out to be, it was still a lot of fun, and everybody had a great time and enjoyed themselves. So I don't want to hold up the video any longer. So without further delay, please enjoy my Kwashi River Tour adventure. Just reached Trelawney, but like not Falmouth Trelawney, like deep inside the middle part of Trelawney, known as Cockpit Country. So we're doing a hiking tour here. It's a bunch of us I actually don't know everybody, but I'm sure I'll get to meet them in a little bit. So myself and Jason are hanging back to get some shots, and then we're gonna run up and meet up with the rest of the group. It's supposed to be a nice, easy, and also a very beautiful hike, walk, nothing too technical. It should be fun. Took us over four hours to get here from the grill. Hopefully it's worth it. It was a lot of windy roads. I get car sick really, really easily. Having to catch up with the group. Me and Jason were the cameramen for the day. So we're gonna be doing a lot of running. Hopefully we can see the group in a second, which I'm sure we will. Very good. So these are guavas. They come in two kinds, well, more than two kinds, but the inside is yellow and there's some that the inside is pink. These are green, I prefer them green. Yeah, guava. cave completely unprepared we're supposed to have like water shoes we're going to be doing a walk through the water caves that has not sharp rocks but rock you don't want to go barefoot anyway we're going to continue this hike should be fun i think it's going to be painful with no shoes but that's what we're here for making our way to this extremely treacherous cave. <laughs> Everybody thought this was going to be a nice leisurely hike. Far from it. But uh, let me take my time and, and go through and catch up to the group. I don't even think you can see them. It's so dark in here. We hold the knowledge of the world in the palm of our hands. Hold the knowledge of the world in the palm of our hands we see it all 
I think we made it to our final destination. I don't know where the music is coming from, but yeah, I think we're all the way in. Probably not as far as we, we can go in the cave, but pretty far. And no sunlight whatsoever. You can't even hear the uh, river anymore, the waterfall. That's how far we're in. But this was a very, very technical walk. Right, we're heading back to civilization here. Slowly, but surely. No rush, no rush whatsoever. We just finished up at the inside the cave. It's just crazy. One wrong move, that's your ankle, slip, fall. I don't know how they get you out of there, but it was worth it though. This is a new attraction here in Jamaica. They probably have a, a few things to change up to add in terms of making a little bit more safe for the masses. Definitely have to be in some type of shape in the sense of being able to lift up and pull up your own body weight. If you can't do that, you're pretty much going to be relying on the, the tour guides to lift and pull you, which a lot of people did that, which was fine. I think it was worth it. It was good. Now everybody just kind of chilling on the river and they're making us some, some lunch over a wood fire, which is pretty cool. Definitely hungry, definitely looking forward to it. It's smelling and looking good so far. A beautiful location. Unfortunately today it's been kind of murky with the water because of the rainfall last night. We have been doing this tour for about five years now actually. It's a team effort. Can't say it by myself. No it's not. There are several guys and women who have supported this venture over the years. So big up everybody. You know yourselves. So for today it's 5'5 five, five Jamaican. 6,000 on average. Um, we try to make it very competitive, competitive for Jamaicans. It includes the bus fare from Kingston or Montego Bay. I think it's pretty reasonable. It includes lunch and the experience, which takes about four to six guys to actually take everybody down here safely and out safely. We prefer big groups. In the time now, with how the world is now and how Jamaica is now, we are limited to 20 persons as a group. As you say, island legends discover, become, and conquer, and live the legend. Nice day. Now we gotta go up this world's deadliest ladder. At least we got shoes on now. The bottom of my feet is gonna be killing me tomorrow. We just finished our Quashi adventure. A little dangerous, but what's life without a little danger, right? We all made it back safe and sound, taking our little hike back to the bus. All right, that's the end of definitely the most dangerous adventure yet. At least I'd like to think so. Good day, fun day. Glad we came out. I think everybody had a good time. Nobody got hurt. Everybody's cool. Got bit up by mosquitoes a little bit. But at the end of the day, we're all alive. Aton came through. And we feel just like this. <laughs> you feel this is how we feel. How do you how do you zoom on this thing? Gosh. And we feel like that. <sighs> yeah, it was an adventure. We got bit up terribly. And our legs got mashed up. That's why the car analogy came into play. 
Anyway, end of the vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Later.